Professor Chikuma Saludo receiving members of the Truth, Justice and Peace Commission at the Executive Chamber of the Government House. It's the official handover of the Commission's report on the remote causes and the impact of violence and insecurity in the state and in the Southeast from 1999 to date, alongside the recommendations for possible solutions and resolutions. The Secretary to the State Government gives a brief history of how the Commission came to be. They submitted the inspection report, made on the 18th of September, February last year. One of the recommendations of that inception report was the uh, establishment of the Bureau for the Missing Persons in Anna Forest and both the Forest and Southeast. Presenting the report, the chairman of a commission, the so former chairman, Board of Nigerian Human Rights Commission, Professor Chidi Odinkalu, navigates through the hydra-headed and complicated security challenges in its various metamorphoses in Anambra State. The major root cause of a crisis is land. The biggest structural factor in violence in Anambra is land. Anambra State is the second smallest state in Nigeria, next only to Lagos. Lagos is about 3,777 square kilometers. Anambra is about just about 4,800 and a bit square kilometers. But unlike Lagos, which is gaining land from reclamation, Anambra is losing land to ecological pressures. And Anambra is the biggest net importer of human resources, human assets in the southeast, which means the demographic pressure on land is massive. And as a result of just the contact between supply and demand, not mediated by capable institutional capabilities and clear rules and force clearly, you have a crisis. And that crisis is predicted to be more intense in the future. Therefore, we've got to set up barriers right now. Alongside the Secretary of the Commission, Professor Odin Kalu hands over the document to Governor Saludo. The governor, who describes the report as a historic document, gives assurances that it will become a framework of action for his administration. I would dare to say that what you provided in terms of the thought process, the logic and the organization and thought process, even the methodology of it, can indeed, that's what was going on in my mind, that this same framework can actually be taken almost zone by zone in Nigeria. The governor also commended the commission for a thorough job done and rewarded the performance of the head of the secretariat of a commission, Dr. Mabu Fonwako, by announcing his promotion to the status of a permanent secretary in the office of a secretary to the state government.